Yes, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say. I can't remember if I failed the intro or not. And then um, we spoke about quite a few different things. So if you're interested to see what we chat about, you'll probably see in the title and see how I did this makeup look, then please keep watching. All right, so, all right, so yeah, so I already have my eyebrows on and I was gonna do my complexion products off camera, but I was just like, I'll just do it on camera. Um, so for primer, I am gonna go in with the All Nighter Face Primer. See, so I've used this a few times. Um, I like the texture of it. My skin just has not been the best for a while, and I don't know what's going on. I think it's, I think it's stress. <laughs> Um, so my skin has just been shit for like a few months and my skin isn't normally like this. I don't normally break out like this or get dark spots even if I do break out. But, yeah. Anyways, um, now I'm going to do foundation. So because um, I had a great weekend, how was your weekend? Comment below, let me know what you did, if you had a good weekend. Summer is about to come to an end, so you know, you gotta try to squeeze in all the fun you can get since we did have a pretty short summer due to COVID. Um, so yeah, I got a little bit of a tan over the weekend and I'll tell you guys a little bit, a little bit about my weekend. I did wanna vlog it, but I suck at vlogging, so I did not accumulate enough footage to make a video so I do want to insert 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 some of that footage in this video because I, I do want to show you guys what I did this weekend and stuff like that and if you guys have any questions about like how I got the yacht and stuff like that um you could comment below and I'll, I'll get that information or I'll just tell you guys in a video actually um when I insert that clip but as far as foundation I'm gonna mix my normal Fenty so this is what I've been using on my channel the Past two videos I did my makeup or um, three videos um, and this is the Fenty hydrating longwear foundation in 350 and I'm gonna mix it with the infallible pro matte and this is in 111 soft sable I used to love this foundation when I was like a super matte girl like I loved matte products it was my go-to and this is drugstore so it's like cheap as hell I think it's $11 but it is matte it is a dupe for Estee Lauder double wear, which I also was a really big Estee Lauder double wear fan when I was into matte products. So if you do like Estee Lauder double wear or you're, you've heard about it and you wanna try it out, I'm just mixing it on the top of my Tatcha primer, so that's not sanitary at all, but it's okay. And then I wonder why my skin is breaking out, right? Nah, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's stress. This uh, infallible have been so good at covering up all my blemishes, like my hair pigmentation, because I'm like breaking out mainly on this side of my face and my chin. And I have a breakout right here too. Oh, it's just... And as far as the ratio of like the Fenty and the infallible, I just eyeball it and just mix it together and if I need to go in with the darker one I'll add a little bit more if I need to go in with the lighter one I'll add a little a little bit more so this infallible makes the foundation dry down so fast because it's so matte so I'm just putting a little bit on the back of this sponge this beauty sponge and I'm just gonna add whatever the little bit that I have left off on the areas that I have the most pigmentation just to ensure that they're fully covered um, yeah and I just don't want to waste product my eyebrows been giving me a hard time too like I don't know like I don't know I don't know what's going on with me my skin my capabilities of doing my makeup but like, I don't know but I'm trying to yeah, I don't even know I'm trying to push through everything Right now, so. <sighs> all right so i 
set my foundation up. I'm gonna do an eyeshadow look today, actually. So, I did recently get this e.l.f. What is it called? Retro Paradise eyeshadow palette. Um, but yeah, so the colors are really, you can see it better back here. The colors are so pretty and I've been fiending to do a purple eye. Like, I don't know if it's gonna show up on my skin, on my complexion, but I, I really wanna do it. So, I'm gonna do it. So, all right, I'm gonna do, a, I'm just gonna put concealer on my eyelid. I'm going to lightly set it. I know some people say that if you don't set the concealer on your eyelid like when you're using concealer for eyeshadow base that the colors come up a lot vivid but i don't know that sounds like a mess like a messy mess to me like a wet product mixing in with a powder eyeshadow like, I, don't know, I don't know how i feel about that and i will not be trying that on camera like you cannot mistake me trying that on camera so i'm just going to set it a little bit all right, I'm gonna go in with this MAC 217 brush and I'm gonna dip in that purple color. I think I'm gonna do a blown out one shadow look on my eyes. And the purple color is called Tropicana. So I'm gonna go in with that. Right, so I'm gonna start off in the crease here. Oh, show. I'm just gonna kind of stamp that in. So I just invested in me. I used to tell him to you. Thought it was destined to be. But like I wasn't enough. Ego was messing with me. You know I hate arguing, girl. You know how I like it to be. I try to keep it simple. She know I keep it simple. I've been speeding up the tempo. Still I keep it simple. Shot it got a hair on let's cross the blind. I just want this to be a warm color. I'm going to use a clean brush, another just clean, fluffy brush, and this is a I ain't gonna say all it says BS dash mall. Just in case you need a reminder, let's just hold the next time I drop you need no reminder. Let's try to keep it simple. She know I'll give it simple. I've been speeding up the tempo. Still, I keep it simple. In my eyes, and hopefully, it doesn't mix in until I can say purple. Even if it does, even if it does, there are concealers that are purple, and that, I believe that is for. Like a color corrector, like they have purple color corrector that's in concealer form, and that is to brighten up the Peach and orange is to counter darkness. Green, I think, is to cancel redness, and I think purple is for brightening to illuminate. So, she, be okay. It'd be alright. So I'm gonna do this eye now. So again, like I said, I'm just gonna stamp in, stamp in the color in the crease. I don't know if I said that before, but alright, let me just, cause I know there's a, a few people that have been asking me to do like eyeshadow looks on my page. And so I decided, I was like, you know, let me do something pretty easy. Not that I'm not great at eyeshadow, so I'm doing something easy for my sake and yours. But um, that's why I decided to do this one color blown out look. Especially, and it's summer, like it's still summer, although summer is about to be over. 
So this look is just like really cute for summer. So I'm just stamping in the product in my crease. Just stamp it in and then we're gonna go and blend it out. So it's a little bit more, colors more diffused. And the reason why I keep dipping in this product is because it's obviously like a pastel color and I am black. <laughs> I am black, so you know, for colors like this to show up on you know our skin, we gotta put in a little bit more work. So that's why I keep stamping and dipping in. So now I feel like I have enough on my eye, so I'm gonna start blending it. And when you blend, it's just like the basically baby circular motions, like small circular motions. You don't want to go too high. Like you just kind of want to stay where the crease is. And when you do circular motions, it'll naturally bring up the product a little bit higher and a little bit lower. But you don't want to get too high under the brow. I mean, I mean, unless that's the look you're going for, and that's totally fine. That is totally fine. Um, but if you just want to do you know just like a simple normal look you just do small little circles little baby blends and the product will blend out and that was my issue with doing foundation and not foundation sorry um eyeshadows that i'm just if you know me you know i'm a very very impatient person i'm a very impatient person so the whole thought of having to sit here and blend out eyeshadow so I just invested in me. I get a letter to me. I used to tell them to you. Thought it was destined to be. So now I'm gonna go back with that clean brush that BS small brush. That I don't know where that is. And I'm just gonna because it doesn't have any product on it. Like I didn't dip into the eyeshadow. Um, so I'm just gonna blend out the edges of that to make it a little bit more blown out. And then same idea going with my finger. Swipe it on. And here I'm just trying to make sure both shadows are even as far as like how far they go up or how low they are. And yeah, it's just very easy. Like I love doing this look because it's just so freaking easy. And then we're gonna go back to the eyes after I finish the rest of my face. Should we stay this close up while the rest of yeah, let's stay this close up. Why not? Why not? We still get to know each other, right? <laughs> Alright, right, so now I'm just going to do concealer, that same fancy concealer. So anyways, let me tell you guys about my weekend. So I had a pretty, pretty fun weekend. So on Saturday, my friends and I, we decided, well we decided about a month ago, um, I did, I always do like the research on stuff and then bring it to my friends and like hey do you guys want to do this and they're like yeah and then i just usually take care of everything as far as like as far as everything so just like i collect the money i tell them when they give me the money and then we just you know we book whatever that's just i've always been like that always like the, the person who plans things i'm because i'm a planner I, I like to plan i'm not a last minute type of person so but anyways yeah so on Saturday we rented a yacht in New Jersey and we had so much fun like it was so fun it was so beautiful like just the New York City skyline is just so pretty even in the daytime and we know New York City skyline is really pretty at night because of the lights city that never sleeps um but it was so pretty on the boat and, it, and it, you know fucking new york water's mad murky and nasty looking but it actually looked pretty with the like just i don't know it was just really pretty and we had a lot of fun and then from there we went to a pool party so yeah we had we had a lot of fun that day we were all over the place um but yes, yeah, so I wanna I'm gonna insert some clips so you guys can see. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! Say hi to the camera. Daddy say hi.
we made. I made this like coconut drink. I love making drinks. Like that's one of like my favorite things to do. Like I'll just I know like I know that we'll be doing something. Like we're, we're going somewhere. We're doing some shit. And I'm like, damn, I want to make a drink. What should I make? And I start thinking of ideas. And pretty much I got the idea because um, I love seltzer water. Like I'm a big seltzer water girl. And it's partially because I love soda and because I don't want to drink soda as much. I still kind of want that fizz from soda but instead salt water so the fizz without the sugar and the flavor so i was like drinking the toasted coke the polar brand toasted coconut i'm like yo this is my favorite one and i know we should taste man good with some liquor because everything tastes good with liquor um so i was like shit i need to I want to make a like a coconut drink because I love coconut and then majority of my friends I think only one friend she don't really like coconut like that um, but everyone usually likes coconut so I'm like fuck I want to make a coconut drink so the, the the plan was to do the polar brand toasted coconut seltzer water with coconut like syrup like a like I bought a coconut syrup that you use for like shaved ice cream or icy I mean and um, I was gonna do what was I was gonna do the Casamigos, the Blanca, the, the regular like uh, clear one. So I was like, yeah, that that'll be really good. Um, this is and this proof this it's like a small little situation that proves to me that this is exactly why I'm not a last minute person because I should have booked the toasted coconut like went out to Target or Stop and Shop to buy the toasted coconut flavor seltzer water, but I didn't. I wanted to like. Be fucking, I don't know why I was not being myself and fucking being last minute. So I went the day before, I went on Friday, and I couldn't find the toasted coconut flavor. I, I checked both Stop and Shop at Atlantic Terminal and Target because I know they both carry them. And they did not have that flavor. They had every other fucking flavor but the toasted coconut. And I was so mad. I was just like, what the fuck? This is exactly why I don't do shit last minute. Like, it's such a small situation to prove to me that, like, this is exactly why... I am the way I am when it comes to fucking like doing shit ahead of time and not being last minute. But anyway, so I ended up just getting a different seltzer water brand. It's like the one in a can. It's called Good something. I don't know. It's like a Target. I guess maybe it's a Target brand. Maybe they only carry a Target. I don't know. But it was coconut pineapple. So it was still pretty good. Um, so I just mixed that with. I ended up no. I didn't want to do it with Casamigos Blanca. I, I was thinking about it because I'm like, we were already planning on buying a Casamigos bottle, the brown Reposado, whatever. Whatever that shit's called. That shit is fucking nasty. I hate that shit. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm so mad. We got that. It still tastes so gross. But um, I was thinking about getting the Blanca Casamigos just because I know we were already going to have another bottle of Casamigos just so we could keep tequila and tequila. But originally it was coconut rum that I wanted to do. Yes, coconut rum with the toasted coconut seltzer water and the coconut syrup, um, icy syrup. But um, so yeah, so I did end up doing coconut rum. And the one that I like is like this little cheap brand. Like it's not nothing fancy. It's called, I forgot the name of it. It started with a C, I think. And it's my favorite coconut. It just tastes so good. It tastes so good. I remember I made like drinks with it for my um, for when my friend graduated. And we had a little graduation party. Well, she had a little graduation party. And I made that. I made a drink from that coconut rum. It was really good. Um, so I wanted to get that, and I couldn't find that. So I ended up just buying Malibu. Just you know, Malibu coconut rum, and it was really good. It was so good. I think I have a clip of my friend. Hey, this drink is so good. <laughs> what you said? This drink is good. Good, and then so yeah, we took shots. Oh, God, it was so fun. It was really fun. We had a good time. I had a good time at least. I know I did. Um, can you get out of my eye? My camera just cut off. So. But yeah, so I don't know what I was saying. 
Anyways, we had a really good time. Um, it was fun. It was, it was lit. It was turnt. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good, good day. Especially like with COVID, like I haven't really seen my friends like that. Like we haven't really hung out. And just in general, like even aside from COVID, it's just like, cause like things are open now. So not fully open in New York. So, but even so, like we, we barely see each other. So it was nice to kind of get together. Like one of my friends live in Georgia, so she came out. It was like, it was just a lot of fun. It was just nice to, you know, be around my friends. Everyone that knows me knows I'm super, super friend oriented person. Like, I look at my friends as my family, so you know, they play a really big role in my life. So it was nice to be around everyone and, you know, just have a good time. But yeah, oh, so yeah, I did, I got the boat online and pretty much it was, he was super nice. The guy, um, if anybody wants his information or just like information, because you don't have to get literally his boat. Um, because it was only five of us, I didn't, like we didn't get like a super gigantic boat. It was like a really, really good size for us because um, it was only five of us. Um... But yeah, it's like this app, it's called Get My Boat. Yeah, Get My Boat. And it's kind of like an Airbnb, but for boats. And you could just look at what is up there, who has boats. And this is just, I'm pretty sure you could get boats in like Miami or other states and cities or whatever. But I know definitely boats up there for New York, I think, and Jersey. And decided to do Jersey. But yeah. Right. And now I'm just gonna set under my eyes. So I was thinking, okay. I wasn't I wasn't sure if I was gonna mention this because I don't know. I, I just wasn't sure if I was gonna mention this, but I guess I'll just mention it. Um so I was thinking, and I didn't really, like, I, I already knew this, but I didn't realize it, that it bothered me as much until I decided to start filming for YouTube. And I, okay, so I used to always tell my friends this when, if I take pictures from the front camera on my iPhone, I notice that my face is, like, not proportionate. <laughs> And it's not funny, but I always tell my friend, I'm like, yeah, no, it looks like I have a stroke. Not that that's funny. Like, it's not funny. You know, people could get a stroke and potentially die from a stroke. So that's not funny. But I'm just saying, like, my face looks like it's just not supposed to be the way it is. <laughs> it's not supposed to be the way it is. Um, so I was thinking that I'm considering... And the, the one place that I notice the most filming is my lips. And I'm, I'm now that I mention it now, you, you guys are probably going to notice it. But, well, maybe you guys noticed it already. I don't know. But one side of my lips, I got to, like, get the makeup off my lips so you guys can see it better. Hold on, let me check. Can you see it? It's like... I think it's this side is... I don't know if y'all could tell, but I know I could tell and I hate it. One side, it's like one side of my lips is fuller than the other side and I could feel the difference. Like I could feel one side is flatter, like the, what do you call this? I forgot the, what this is called. Whatever it's called, I'm not even gonna look it up. Um, the border of my lips is like one side is i guess the border on one side is thicker than the other i don't know but anyways it leads my lips to look super uneven and i noticed it in videos like when i'm editing my videos i notice it and i'm just like it bothers me um so i'm thinking about getting it corrected through lip fillers um i don't know i'm like kind of scared because I don't want to fuck my face up, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's 
one thing you, you don't really want to fuck with is your face like when it comes to like fillers and shit like that like you just don't want to fuck with your face because and you know going back i mean fillers can be dissolved it can be dissolved i get that but it's like why do i want to go through that hassle if i just you know don't have to but i'm considering it so if i do it i will probably film it for you guys that would be that'll be kind of different right i don't know it's kind of scary even telling people like because it's just like I just want to pop out with the corrected lips now. Um, but yeah, so I might do it because it does bother me. And it bothered me before YouTube, but before I decided to make a YouTube, but it bothers me even more now. I'm like, fuck, like, why do you guys look like that? Who did this? Whose face is disproportionate? Is my mom, my daddy? Oh, so. I'm just on the contour of my nose now. So, yeah, that shit bothers me. And why is my neighbors mad fucking loud downstairs? Like, I hope y'all can't hear them because that's gonna blow my mind when I'm editing this video. I can fucking hear them. You know what it is? I curse too much too. Like, I'm just like, damn, I gotta stop cursing. I have to stop cursing, but it's so hard to not curse. It's like cursing just perfectly describes, using a curse word just describes the level of how I feel about something. So if I say fucking, mm, you know, it's like, mm. <laughs> I don't know, but I gotta stop. I gotta stop cursing. For real. So I blended that out ish. And then I'm just clean it up. My camera cut off again. I'm gonna be saying this whole time. I need to just use my Canon, but I just don't. It's just more of a complex camera, and I just don't have the time to try to figure out how to use it. Not that I don't have the time, I'm just lazy. I will though, because this, I'm gonna just keep this, keep using this camera as a vlogging camera and just start using my Canon for my beauty, beauty videos. I just like fucking YouTube videos as well. <sighs> Alright, so now I'm gonna bronze my face up. But yeah, I think the camera cut off, I was talking about potentially getting, feeling like correcting my lips through lip fillers. Yeah. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. If if you have an opinion. If you don't have an opinion, then that's cool. You don't gotta say nothing. We ain't gotta tell me she so yeah, I keep saying I'm not gonna curse no more and I keep cursing. Um if you don't have an opinion, that's cool. Like but let me know what you think. Or have or better yet, if you had lip fillers before, if you had any type of fillers, if you can tell me your experience with them, that would be great. Um but yeah, I just, I just want to correct it, like, I just, I don't know, I just hate that they're just not proportionate to each other, it's annoying. And the bronze I'm using is the Guerlain, and oh nine, I didn't know I had none, I didn't know I had, I, I had seven, eight, and nine, wow, well, I have nine apparently, it's dark, but it looks good. I like it. I like it. Um. All right, I'm gonna do some blush. Some blush. Oh, I'm gonna use peaches by Mac. This is gonna be a real summer look. Where I'm going after this? You know? <laughs> I feel like I'm like Russian. I don't know what I'm Russian for. Um, micro screw, micro screw, micro smooth powder and tan, and then this big 
fluffy brush. Twin Beauty, I think I told you guys the name. Yeah, I pretty much use the same brushes all the time. So, I, I'm, I'm, sooner or later, I'm not going to have to tell you guys what brushes I'm using because I use the same brushes. And again, this powder just brings everything together. But also, I was wondering, I was just thinking about it because I'm looking at myself with this bonnet. I was just about to curse, but I caught myself a hat. Um, with this bonnet on my head, like, is this okay? Like, do you guys want me to do my hair first? And then start doing my makeup video so I actually look decent when my makeup is being done or do you guys don't mind the bonnet? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what you guys want. Whatever you want, I'm gonna give it to you. But to be honest, I like my nose contour harsh because it photographs better. Photographs nicely. The nose looks more snatched in photos when it's a little bit on the harsher side. I'm going to make this line sharper. And well, I just realized I really haven't posted. Oh, I didn't just realize, but like I realized like the other day that I had I didn't post on YouTube in two weeks. I mean, I just started, so it's not like I've been cons like I've been a consistent. Something looks messed up over here. Hold on. I think I brought my blondes up too high. See, what like why was I even rushing and? Carrying on the way I was carrying on just now. Like, what's wrong with me? Yeah. Look how my hands look so tanned. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was a. How did I forget? I did a fake tan. Um, it gave me. It, get, it definitely worked on my melanated skin. Um, but like, just getting my chest to be darker was difficult. Like, my legs, my hands, my arms, like the areas of my body that naturally tans really easily. Um, it worked really nice. I know when I speak, I might seem a little self-righteous. Money on the phone, I might seem a little excited. Morals on a list, so if need it be, I deny it. We are not the same, just in case you need a reminder. Let's just hold the next time I drop, you need no reminder. I try to keep it simple. You know I keep it simple. I've been speeding up the tempo. Still I keep it simple. Uh, All right, so we're going to finish off the eyes real quick. Just to tie everything together. I probably should have used a more detailed brush, but I can't find any. I don't see any over here. I'm going to need to go look for one. Because that one looks crazy. I need to do. I need to put lash. Shit, I thought I was almost done. I thought I was almost done, y'all. I mean, I technically I am, but... And then speaking of lashes, oh my gosh. Let me guys show you. So, a friend of mine, her name is Shanae. She owns a lash company called Savory Cosmetics, which is so cute because that's her last name. So, such a cute name. That's her last name. It's very cute. And she sent me four pairs of lashes. I love, I love her lashes. So, little background story. So, I purchased her lashes last year for graduation because i'm like okay i want some new lashes for graduation and i was like you know let me just buy her lashes let me support her and then i actually felt so i ordered tress liches which i don't have here because she has them on back order but i ordered those because i was like okay those look so pretty like they look right up my alley and then she ended up sending me made in chocolate complimentary and i was just like oh wow i really like this one so i ended up wearing made in chocolate for my graduation instead of tres leches because i ended up falling in love with it and then i really like tres leches when i finally wore it i really really like them so she sent me some lashes i just want to show it to you guys so this is her packaging it says savory cosmetics in the back it says 100 percent mink lashes and it's like a glittery black um packaging with gold lettering so it's so pretty hello beautiful inside and then this is red velvet so so pretty this one is made in chocolate so this is the one i ended up wearing for graduation i really really like them this is salted caramel these are, these are really really cute i'm not i'm not going nowhere because i don't want to put these lashes on for the they mad cute oh hey hey birthday cake like this is this is real glam right here this is real glam so what i like about her lashes and i'm pretty sure she does have like the 
what do they call 25 mm lashes and stuff like that that might have been birthday cake but i know she has like she has a few or coming out i don't know she can correct me if i'm wrong coming out with like more of that like lashes like the more but what i do like about these that she sent me is they're up my, like i like glam lashes but i don't like boquisha lashes you, you, you feel me you get what i'm saying glam but not boquisha because boquisha is like the super thick ones that's like any long and they just look like a flyaway they're cute for some people but for me i just don't like that like the epitome of my taste in lashes is um like made in chocolate like this like this type of like it's still pretty thick it's still pretty full it has different you know lengths it has like different lengths so kind of tapered and they're just like pretty and fluttery like that's just the type of lashes i love so i'm so happy she sent me these like i'm so 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 happy and she also sent me a lash applicator put some loose curls in my hair and then i put the lashes on so i went ahead with the red velvet so they're really cute and then I got these really cute. This is like, I'm the baddest bee on the block. Today's 90s vibes earrings. And I got these from Terry Ashley. Let me go get that card. So this is her card. And I'm gonna link both Savory Cosmetics as well as Terry Ashley in the description box so you guys could check them out. Uh, they're my favorite, like they're just like, and they go perfect with the eye look, I feel like, because it's like real, real old school vibes. Like, I really like them, they're so cute. Kind of look, it's gonna look cute with this. But, um, but yeah, so we, we spoke about a lot. No, um, I asked you guys a few questions. I, I asked you, um, what did you guys do over the weekend? If you did anything fun, anything notable actually about your experience or your opinion on me correcting my lips and then what else I, show? I think that's it so you know answer those questions comment below let me know what you think and then also another question see i got mad questions for y'all <laughs> what other videos do you guys want like what kind of videos um i'm still just trying to like build my channel and i just don't want to put content out there that nobody's interested in so if you guys could definitely tell me what you would like to see from me and that'll make my life a lot easier so if you want to take the stress off of me some of the stress off of me so i can stop breaking out then comment below and let me know what you want to see <laughs> all right so yeah that is oh i just put like a tank, a white tank top on because i had like a fucking gray white beat on oh, i keep cursing stop cursing okay i'm done cursing that person all right so um yeah i just have a tank top on and i'm probably gonna take a picture Instagram. so yeah all right well it was nice doing this video i'm so happy to be back behind the camera and filming so i'll see you guys in the next video